Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we're gonna do something really interesting, something we haven't talked about too much yet for some reason. So I was scrolling the Instagram and I saw this page posting a physique update of Samson, and the first comment there was 5th place. Somebody says that Samson is gonna be 5th at the Mr. Olympia, meaning he's gonna go down 2 spots. So who are the guys that could potentially beat him? Honestly, at this point, the only guys that I can see beating Samson, aside from Hardy and Derek, of course, are Nick Walker and maybe, maybe Andrew Jack. I don't think I can see Brandon Curry or Hunter Labrada or Martin Fitzwater or all the other guys beating Samson this year. So I think the battle is gonna be between Nick and Samson. I think we're gonna have a top four call out. Maybe a separate top two callout, but I think both Nick and Samson are gonna be in the callout with Derek and Hadi. Who's gonna place where? I have no idea. I honestly doubt that Andrew Jack can beat Samson this year. Maybe, but it would be a huge upset, a big surprise. And guys, don't underestimate Samson. I know he's been through a lot of drama, but let's just focus on his physique right now. He's obviously not working with Milos, so that's a big uh, X factor. We don't know what that's gonna look like. He's prepping alone or with the help of his wife. So yeah, it's a question mark, but still, still, with a physique like this, even if he doesn't come in super conditioned, still, I mean, there aren't many guys with this complete and this crazy looking physique. So I think Samson is pretty firmly in the first call out in that top four. Where? In the top four? We'll see. But I think we're gonna see a comparison between him and Nick Walker. Now, Nick Walker, yeah, I know, his midsection wasn't great this year, and yeah, he almost lost to Martin Fitzwater. But what does that mean? Does that mean that Martin is now a top 3 guy at the Mr. Olympia? No, 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 no. I think Nick is gonna be rewarded more at the Mr. Olympia because he's just too big and too conditioned and too impressive to be ignored. Maybe they're gonna punish him by putting him in fourth? But I'm pretty sure his midsection control is gonna be far better for the Mr. Olympia. I'm pretty sure he just didn't practice his posing too much for the New York Pro and he didn't really push the conditioning too much. I think he's gonna be overall much better for the Mr. Olympia and I think he still is. One of the top guys, one of the first call out guys. If his midsection was fine, he would be battling for the first spot. I would be saying he can win the Mr. Olympia. But because of this, I don't see it. I don't see him beating Derek and Hardy. Do I see him beating Samson? Well, let's check it out. We'll do a pose by pose comparison. And by the way, shout out to this Instagram page, Bodybuilding Sam Nutella. Uh, they made this awesome video. It's a video comparing these two guys in, in poses. So let's go. Obviously, both versions right here are from this year, 2024. It didn't say, but I'm pretty sure this is Samson from Arnold Classic Ohio, because I think he was a bit drier and flatter and smaller at the Arnold UK, so I don't know which look you guys prefer, I think both are pretty similar, I mean different, but you know, as far as competitiveness, very similar because he was fuller and bigger at the Arnold Ohio and he was drier but smaller and flatter at the Arnold UK, and I know we're gonna see something completely new and different for the Mr. Olympia this year, hopefully a combination of those two versions, and as far as Nick Walker, we got a 2024 New York Pro version and honestly for the Mr. Olympia I'm expecting similar condition maybe a little bit sharper and maybe with a little bit better midsection control but how much can he control it better I don't know because like in this pose right here you can see the obliques are popping out a bit too much they are hurting his overall look the size of the legs in particular and as you can see, Samson's waist is super small and his waist are massive compared to his legs. I mean, his waist size and his leg size is pretty much equal. So this creates a perfect illusion. And as far as the upper body, you can see how much wider he is in the shoulders compared to his waist, which is also creating a great X frame. So as far as the front double, even though Nick has great separation and details and muscularity, I don't think it's even a comparison. Honestly, I feel like Samson destroys Nick in the front double, because of his shape, mainly. I believe Nick is gonna be more conditioned, you know, harder, he's gonna peak better, probably, but can that be enough if his midsection is not significantly improved? I don't think so. 
Now, as far as the side chest, I mean, Nick looks great. Like, he looks like a huge, huge blob of muscle, like a bag full of potatoes, you know? He looks huge, everything is popping, everything is hard, everything is detailed, but he doesn't have, you know, the nice flow in this physique, and Samson is on the other end of the spectrum. He looks really aesthetic in this one. He really knows how to hit it as well, with his height, with his massive chest, with his small waist, big legs, great structure... He looks really good in this one, even though he's probably not gonna be as hard and as detailed as Nick, I think he beats him in this one quite easily. Also, another thing is the midsection, even from the side. You know, in the side chest, you can kinda hide your midsection and Nick is trying to do that, but he needs to pull that midsection in harder, which he can do. He does it in the side tricep, but here he probably relaxed a bit too much because he thought he was hiding it with his hands, but... He wasn't doing it properly, he was still showing it, some judges at least could have seen it, so hopefully this will be improved for the Mr. Olympia, but right now I have Samson winning this one as well. Now, when they turn around, it's a little bit different story, because you cannot see Nick's midsection or his blocky waist from behind. I mean, he doesn't look blocky at all, his waist actually looks super small from behind. His lats are popping out like crazy, his waist actually looks small, legs are also popping out crazy, and also his arms are really freaking big, which adds to the illusion, and also the conditioning in the hamstrings and in the glutes especially, it's something that Samson never had, and maybe never will. I mean, I can't imagine Samson with super shredded glutes like Nick's, at a Mr. Olympia, so it's probably gonna be a similar story, and Nick with his shredded glutes and like with his crazy hamstrings and crazy legs from behind and a massive back that is creating a pretty good X-frame, I mean, yeah, I think he might beat Samson in this one. The other back pose, back lat spread, before, like last year when Nick and uh, Samson competed against each other, it was close, you could even argue that uh, Samson was beating Nick in this one, but this year... Nick's back lat spread is basically a new back lat spread, completely new. I don't know if he improved his back that much, but I would rather say he learned how to open it up, because now it looks wide as hell. Like, look at the freaking width and look at the thickness in those freaking lats and how low they are inserted. This is just crazy, and the X frame in this pose is phenomenal. And again, with crazy definition in the hamstrings and the glutes, I mean, yeah, I know Samson has a nice structure and he's tall and all that, but I think Nick has simply too much in the back pose and I feel like he's gonna beat Samson in both of them. But is that all? Are those two poses the only two poses that Nick can beat Samson in? What about most muscular? It's also a strong shot for Nick. I mean, yeah, he's, he's massive and detailed and crazy freaky looking, but you can still see the midsection and it's not looking very nice. So, I would give this one to Samson, still. Maybe Samson is not gonna be as detailed, as hard as Nick Walker, but as you can see, he's also a big freaking guy, <laughs> and on that stage, he's gonna look massive as well, and check him out in this HD photo. So, yeah, Samson is very impressive in most muscular, and he also made a lot of progress from 2023. Nick also made progression in terms of muscularity, but he kind of ruined his midsection a bit too much. Samson did as well. He's also starting to form a bit of a diastasis, and at the Arnold Classic Ohio, you could have seen his stomach popping out a bit too much, but then at the Arnold UK, he was keeping it perfectly under control, and also, he didn't carb up for the Arnold UK, so he was kind of flat, I mean, his stomach was flat, he carved up, like, earlier in the week, and then he just depleted to the show, and... You know, he looked great, a bit flatter, sure, but conditioning was good, so maybe that is something that Nick can consider. If he is carving up and eating a little bit too much before the show, it can definitely make his midsection look bigger. But honestly, I can't imagine Matt Jansen changing his peak week protocol to do something crazy, something new for Nick Walker for the Mr. Olympia. I think it could work, maybe they could try it out like a couple of weeks before the Mr. Olympia to see how it works. But, yeah, I think it would be, it could be a good decision, potentially, because as you can see, at certain points, Nick really controlled his midsection, he kept it really tight, so I think it has a lot to do with the control, simply. Sure, it's bigger now, but if he controls it and makes it 20% smaller, somehow, 
by not putting a lot of food in his stomach the day before the show and the day of the show, for example, and practicing posing a lot, then maybe he's gonna be good enough to truly challenge somebody like Samson Dauda or push even Hardy and Derek, but right now I don't see him doing that, but I do think it's gonna be a battle between Nick and Samson, and it's gonna be an interesting battle. What do you guys think? Tell me down below if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more content like this, guys. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.